My God! That was such a good nap, it was needed big time, after having to wake up early to prepare breakfast and lunch for the family, and having to do chores around the house. But thank God Abuela, Dora, Isabella, and Guillermo were able to help me, and make my life easier, since Abuela is always at home, and the kids have the week off from school. Thanks to Thanksgiving happening this week, and speaking of Thanksgiving, I just remembered, since Thanksgiving Day is tomorrow, I need to get started on preparing the food for tomorrow's Thanksgiving dinner, and the family and I have agreed that we will be having Thanksgiving dinner at the local park, just like last year. Hi. I wonder who is calling me, I better answer, since it might be important. Hello. This is Elena Marquez, who is this? Hello? Is this Elena Marquez from Lofty Animations 2000's universe that I am speaking to? Wait, you sound exactly like me, is this another Elena that I'm speaking to? Yes, it's me. Elena Marquez from Splatfist and Jump Jump Fan 2023's Dimension, remember me from a few months ago? Oh yes. I remember you from back in the summer of this year. Well, how are you? And how are your family doing? Well, we've been doing good thank you, and I hope you and your family are doing well as well. Oh yes, we've been doing great also, thanks for asking. Anyways, what exactly are you ringing me for? Well, since tomorrow is Thanksgiving, I want to ask you, what are you and your family doing for Thanksgiving tomorrow? Well, tomorrow, my family and I are going to the park in our city to have our dinner together, since the weather tomorrow is said to be very good tomorrow. And then afterwards, we're just planning on going back to our house to have a few drinks, as well as enjoying some football, like all families do on Thanksgiving. Why do you ask? Well, do you remember on planning to meet up sometime as two families together, back when we met your kids for the first time, remember? Oh yeah, I remember, and it definitely would be nice to meet up together, since your daughters got along with my kids very well when they met back at the park back in mid-July. Well, I was thinking over the past few days, do you want to meet up together at the park down in your universe, and have Thanksgiving dinner together, as a group of 12 of us? Wow! That is an amazing plan Splatface Elena, it would be great to meet up as two families together, especially if it means meeting you all again, after over 3 months. Brilliant! So, maybe for the dinner, one of our families cooks a turkey, and the other family does the extras, like the mashed potatoes, stuffing, and other add-ins to the dinner. That's perfect, and my family can do the turkey, since we've had our turkey bought for the past few days, and also, my daughter Dora and Abuela can make the pumpkin pie for dessert. Amazing! That would be great for your daughter and Abuela to make the dessert, so, we can agree on that plan. Also, what time tomorrow do you want to meet at the park? Well, if it means getting a good and big table for all of us, we should meet at the park tomorrow at about 2 or 3 o'clock. Is that fine with you and your family? Yes, that's fine with me. So, we'll see you all and your family tomorrow. Take care, for sure, and to your family too. Bye-bye. Well, good morning Dora. Oh, good morning Grandma. Anyways, I'm going downstairs for breakfast now. Okay, you can go and do that Dora. I'll be downstairs in a few minutes. Oh, good morning Mom. Oh, good morning sweetie. So, you know what today is, right? Ha ha, of course I do. Today is Black Friday. Ha 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 Good one Dora, but for real, you know what today is, don't you? Of course I do mom, today is Thanksgiving. Also, we are still having our dinner at the park like last year, right? Oh yes, that plan is still going ahead. Oh, and also, once you all have your breakfasts, I have to tell all of you something important, in regards to Thanksgiving dinner this year. Oh, okay then. Well, I'm just going to go and get myself some cereal, but I wonder what is this thing you have to tell all of us? Well, one thing's for sure, you all are going to be happy with it for sure. Okay, now that we have all of our breakfasts eaten, Elena, can you tell us this surprise that you've been wanting to tell us all morning? Yeah mom, 
We've been wanting to know what this surprise is, so, can you tell us now? Yeah, we've been very eager to know what this surprise is, so please mom, can you tell us? Well Dora, Isabella, and Guillermo, let me ask you a question, since this mostly relates to you three. So you remember the three girls you met back at the park last July? Oh yeah, they were Dora, Fora, and Amanda from Splatfest and Chum Chum Fan 2023's universe, so, what about them? Well, last night, I was talking to their mother, and for Thanksgiving this year, they will be coming down to our dimension to have Thanksgiving dinner with us, as two families. Wait, are you serious about this? Yes Dora, I'm 100% serious about this, so, what do you all say to that? Wow Elena, that plan sounds fantastic, especially since Dora, Isabella, and Guillermo got along so well with Dora, Fora, and Amanda back in July. Yeah, Grandma is right mom, especially since we really wanted to hang out with Dora, Fora and Amanda before 2023 comes to an end. Yeah, and also... It reminds us when Splatfest Astora said that we should all meet up sometime as two families together, and today is just a great day to do so. Well, I'm just so glad that all of you are happy with the plan for today, and also, in terms of the dinner, we will do that turkey and dessert. And they will do the addends, like mashed potatoes, stuffing, cranberry sauce, and other addends for the dinner, so how about we all get started on making our parts of the dinner? Well, if you say so Elena, come on Dora, let's get started on making the pumpkin pie. Oh, I'm right behind you Grandma. So Mom, do you know when they will be here? Well Dora, Splatface Elena text me, and they will be here in any minute now. Oh look, I see them, come on, let's go over and welcome them. Well, here we are, locked the animations 2000 dimension, after 4 months. For sure a call, and honestly, Lofty's version of the Marquez family couldn't have picked out a better day to have Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah! You're right Elena and Cole, and honestly, the real reason why we are here, is to finally meet and get to know this dimension's version of the Marquez family a little bit more. Yeah, that's the one thing we've been looking forward to the most Grandma. Right Amanda and Fora? Yeah, for sure and Aura. But also, I wonder where they are, if they have even arrived yet. Well, we don't have to wait much longer, I see them coming now. Well, we meet again, Splatfest Marquez family, it's so good to see you all again. For sure Abuela, so, how have all of you been doing these past few months? We've been doing good as of right now, and what about you six? Well, we've also been doing well thank you, so, where are our tables? Well, it's just over here, so, follow us to it. Well, don't mind if we do. Also, girls, you three can talk to Dora, Isabella, and could we Irma for the time being? Well, we meet again, Splatfest version of me, Amanda, and Fora. Yay, for sure about that, after over four months. So, how have you three been doing since the last time we met? Really good Dora. Also, how have you three been doing back in your dimension? Well, aside from all of the chaos going on in our dimension, things have been doing okay as of late. Huh, chaos. What do you mean by chaos? Well, simply, over the past few months, we've had to put many child abusers to rest, but every time we do so, more people just come around to cause trouble. And it makes things worse? When my stupid bitchy sisters don't want to listen to me, especially when I tell them not to go wherever they go, since chaos will always happen. Yeah, you don't make any situation like that better, especially when you're throwing me through doors, but you should just leave Ninja to our own devices, stupid bitch. Oh, so you want to go? Well then, let's go, and let's see who really is the superior sister. Oh? So you want to go ahead? Well then, let's go for it. And let me beat you until your skin matches your clothing. No 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 not now not ever and not especially in front of our friends so both of you stop right fucking now Jesus Amanda calm down Okay okay Far out I will stop fighting just please calm down Well good now Let's just get back to what we were meant to be discussing. Also, sorry Tora, Isabella, and Guillermo, 
This just happens a lot between Tora and Fora. Oh, it's fine Amanda, but, like you said, a lot of chaos happens a lot in your dimension. Well, yes. Besides, we could explain for hours of all the chaos that has happened over the past four months in our dimension. Yeah, Dora is right, and besides, we bet that not a lot of chaos tends to happen in your dimension often. Oh, believe me, a lot of chaos happens in our world a lot, and even before you guys visited our dimension back in mid-July. Huh. Well. Was any of that really that bad? Well, to put things simple, does racist and homophobic assaults, attempted murder, gang violence, and even arson take place in your dimension? Well, no. But seriously, does it take place in your world? Yes, Dora. I mean, back in June, a number of LGBT teens and parents, as well as African and Asian citizens in our world, got violently assaulted by a teenage gang in our dimension, and it was simply done out of racist and homophobic tendencies, and nothing more. Wait, what? That actually happened, before we visited this city. Yep, and last August, two members of that teenage gang tried to murder two Japanese-American teenagers with knives, again, out of racism and homophobia. Due to one of the teens being lesbian, and the other being bisexual, but luckily, they didn't get murdered, and those teens ended up getting expelled. And even worse, on Halloween, that same gang committed kidnapping on a group of young kids most of which were younger siblings of some of the members in that gang. But luckily, the kids were saved, and all of those gang members ended up getting arrested. Whoa. So that gang has done so much horrific shit in your world I'm guessing? Keeping simple, yes Fora, a lot. But at least we can agree on having a good Thanksgiving dinner together, especially since we are with the six of you this year. Yeah, you're right on the one Dora. Also, I wonder when the dinner will be ready to eat. Since all three of us are starving right now. Kids, the dinner is ready, so, if you are hungry, come to your assigned table right now please. Well, finally, I can't wait to eat some delicious turkey, made by Lofty Animation's 2000s version of our mom. So... Splatfist and Jump Jump fan 2023's Elena, Cole, and Abuela, how are you three enjoying the turkey? Well, I have to say, Lofty is Elena, this turkey is absolutely amazing, I can't remember the last time I had turkey this good. Yeah, I agree with my husband, you three did such an amazing job at making the turkey, it just tastes amazing. Yeah! I agree, and honestly, we weren't expecting you to have made a turkey this good. You three deserve huge respect for the turkey. Well actually, all of the credit goes to Elena, she's the one who fully prepared the turkey. Yeah, so the only person to be thanked for this is Elena, and Elena, thank you so much for preparing the turkey, it tastes absolutely stunning. Oh, thanks sweetie, that was so nice of you, and I'm just glad that all of you are enjoying the turkey. But also, Splatfists, Elena, Cole, and Abuela, thank you so much for making the add-ins, they taste just as nice. Well, you can thank our kids for that, they actually decided to do the add-ins themselves, they insisted that they did so. Wow. Your kids made them themselves, well, we will be sure to thank them for that, and it looks like they are enjoying their Thanksgiving dinner themselves. And also, I can't wait for you three to taste our pumpkin pie, Dora and I made it ourselves, since we always make pumpkin pie together every year for Thanksgiving. Wow Dora, I have to say, this turkey has got to be some of the best turkey I've ever eaten in my life, it tastes so good. Yeah, I agree with Dora, this turkey is just amazing, some of the best I've tasted in such a long time, wouldn't you agree Dora? Yeah, definitely on the one for our Amanda. This turkey tastes absolutely amazing, and honestly lofty Dora. Whoever made the turkey deserves huge thanks from all of us. Hey, thank you you three, that was so nice of you to say, and also, my mom was the one who made the turkey. But also, the add-ons your parents made taste just as good, right Isabella and Guillermo? Yeah Dora, I agree, the add-ons taste just as good as the turkey, especially the mashed potatoes and stuffing. Yeah, you're not wrong Isabella, and honestly, your parents deserve huge appreciation for these add-ons, they taste incredible. Well actually Guillermo, it was actually the three of us who made the add-ons, no joke about that. Wow. 
you made those add-ons yourselves, wow, that is impressive of you three. Yeah Dora, we did, and we are just so happy that you three love the add-ons you made, and it seems like your parents are enjoying them themselves. Yeah, you're right Amanda, and also, we can't wait to taste your pumpkin pie, since it just looks very well done. Well, that's great to hear, since Dora and our grandmother made the pie themselves. Yeah, and honestly, knowing from experience, the pie tastes just as good as it looks. Trust us, you three are going to love it. Wow! That dinner was so good, and it was just amazing that I was able to have a great Thanksgiving dinner with my mom and relatives without any dumb shit happening. But since all of that has ended, there is literally nothing to do, especially since all I can do is go on my laptop and scroll through YouTube for hours on end. Hey Gina. Um, Gina, is everything okay? What's with the face? Oh, it's not much mom, it's just that, now that everyone has gone home, I can't really think of what to do. Well, since today is a nice day outside, how about you go out for a little bit of fresh air? It would definitely be good for you, especially after having a huge dinner. You know what, that actually does sound like a good idea mom, so, I guess I'll go ahead and do so. Now that's the stuff, anyways, I'll be going into my room to have a shower and take a nap, since I'm exhausted from making all of that food today. And I swear to God, if I hear any incident of you causing stupid shit, you will be grounded, do you understand me young lady? Um, yes, yes mom, I understand. Okay, good to hear, anyways, you can go whenever you like, and try not to be out for too long. Geez, what's up with my mom, always thinking I'm going to cause trouble, all because I'm leaving the house to stretch my legs. But fuck it, I'm just going to go now, so I can get it done and over with. Wow, Kevin and Gab, good to see you too, and I guess that you are at enjoying the weather on Thanksgiving, am I right or wrong? Well, it's great to meet you too babe. And well, yes, we are actually out enjoying the fresh air, but for a completely different reason. Yeah, and what Kevin is saying is, we are here to cause some trouble, like we always do as troublemakers, hence why we have baseball bats. Wait. You two are out causing trouble, and not even telling me about it until now. Wait. You weren't notified about this. Notified? By who? And what for? Oh my god, they never told you, okay? I'll go over the plan, so a while ago, we got notified by Chorus, Gorus, and Taurus, that there is an alternative version of Dora's family, at the park, having Thanksgiving dinner with Dora's family. And basically, in order to show that alternative version of Dora's family an insight into what goes on in our dimension, Chorus, Gorus, and Taurus decided to give us a call, and ask us if we wanted to join up with them, and destroy the park, like what you and them did during Thanksgiving last year. And in terms of who else is joining in, Arthur, D.W., Diesel, Henry, Rod, Eric, and Bailey are all joining up as well. But somehow, they didn't tell you about this. You have to be fucking kidding me. Karis, Gaurus, and Harris plan something destructive against our biggest enemy, and never tell me what the fuck. Hey, please don't get angry Gina. I'm pretty sure they will allow you to join in, especially since they are good friends with all of us. I mean, that is good idea, except for the fact that I have no weapon, and I'm not causing major destruction without the use of a weapon. Actually, if I can remember, there is a sports shop open, and outside the shop, they have baseball bats for $5, and since I have $5 in my pocket now, I'm pretty sure we can go there and get a bat, and then, meet with the others at the park. Wow Gab, that was such a lucky shot, and yes, hand me the five dollars, and I will go and get myself a bat, so, give me a minute to do so. Well, see you guys in a bit, need to go and buy myself a bat. Okay, now that I got my bat, next stop, the park, right? Yeah, you're right, so... Let's go. Okay guys, while we wait for Kevin and Gab to arrive, 
Do any of you want me to go over the plan, or do any of you have questions to ask me? Well, I have one question, Chris. Where's Gina? Did you tell her about the plan? Well, Diesel, Goris and I called her like over 20 times, and she didn't reply. I don't really know why, so we have to go ahead with this plan without her. Wait, hang on a minute. I see her coming with a baseball bag in hand, along with Gab and Quinn. Hey Chorus, are we on time for this? For sure about that you three. Also, Gina, how did you find out about this plan? Well, I was out walking when I ran into Gab and Kevin, and they told me about that plan. But for real, why didn't any of you call me and tell me about this? Wait, what? Goris and I rang you several times, and you didn't answer any of our calls. Well, I didn't get notified once about any missed calls from either of you. Hang on a minute, show me your phone, and show me the contact. Okay then, here is the contact we called you on. Um, Goris, my surname isn't Rodriguez, my surname is Delgado. Wait, what? So, if your surname is Delgado, Goris, who is Gina Rodriguez? You fucking idiot Goris. That is the name of the prostitute you got with last weekend at the strip club, remember? You fucking idiot Goris, you seriously got me to call the wrong number, my god, are you serious? God damn it, well, I'm very sorry about that Gina, I had no idea that I called the wrong number. Oh, it's okay Goris, besides, things like this happen. But at the end of the day, I'm here, and ready to cause chaos at the park, just like last year, am I right or wrong? Yeah. You're right Gina, so, are we all ready to pull this plan off, and successfully ruin Thanksgiving for the Marquez family once again? Yes. 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 Well Dora, Fora, and Amanda, that was a great Thanksgiving dinner, wouldn't you three agree? Yeah, I agree with you Dora, that the dinner and dessert was so great. It was so delicious. Wouldn't you agree, Dora and Amanda? Yeah, I agree with you Dora, and honestly Dora, the pumpkin pie you and Abuela made was some of the best I've ever tasted. You two did a great job at making it. Yeah, I agree with Dora, and honestly Dora, your mother's attempt at making the turkey was just perfect, and also, it's great that we had a dinner without any chaos happening. Hey. Thank you so much you three, but also, the add-ons you three made were just amazing as well. You three did an amazing job at making the add-ons to go along with the turkey. Yeah, Dora is right, and honestly, it's just great that we got to have a great Thanksgiving dinner with you three, your parents, and grandmother. Yeah, Isabella is right, and honestly, with all of what we did today, what could possibly go wrong? Well little boy, you clearly forgot about us, didn't you? Oh fucking great, as if you three were bad enough, you three as well Arthur, DW, and Bailey, what the fuck do all of you want? Wait Dora, are these more additional trophy makers in your world? Unfortunately, yes they are, and they are just the bane of my sanity, especially these three assholes, Gina, Gab, and Kevin, especially after all that they did to me this past year. Hey, it was justified you stupid bitch. After all of the trouble you three have gotten us into. From what we know, assaulting our older sister with the use of bats, due to you forgetting your homework. Oh yeah, that was so justified, said no one ever. Oh be quiet you little bitch, you should be in our shoes for at least one day, to witness firsthand what we go through every day. Hey, don't talk to my twin sister like that, you fucking bitch, and besides, we wouldn't want to, since we aren't stuck up bitches, unlike you three. Wow. People who are good in Outworld, are actually stuck up assholes in Lofty's dimension. And so what, got a problem with that, huh? Actually, a major problem for your information, like seriously, if you three are here to annoy us, then we don't want to bear witness that. Well, we are here for a bigger reason, and it mostly has to do with you three in particular or you three staring right at us. And after what we do today... You three will probably never want to come down to this dimension ever again, especially for your own safety. What are you even talking about Bailey and AW? What do you mean it mostly involves Dora, Fora, and Amanda? 
Well, in simple terms, we are going to show you three. Standing behind Dora, Isabella, and Guillermo, why coming down here was a huge mistake. Oh? And what are you six possibly going to do to us? Just to prove that you six are just dumbasses who get grounded by your parents 24-7. Hey, who the fuck are those seven? And what are they doing to the park's tables? Well, that was a few of our friends doing exactly what we are going to do to the six of you with our bats, so, get ready to feel pain. Oh no, not again, and not from you three in particular Gina, Gab, and Kevin. Okay guys, let's show them how serious we are, so, let's get them. Holy fucking shit, guys, run, we are getting the fuck out of here. Okay Goris and Tories, let's get to smashing this motherfucker. Alright everyone, let's get to smashing this shit. Wow guys, that was such a good plan to ruin Thanksgiving, am I right or wrong? Yeah Corys, and honestly, ruining Thanksgiving for the second year in a row was just a great idea, especially for you and I, Tories, and Diesel, right you too? Yeah, and honestly, having more people off doing other things was definitely worth the effort of getting all of us involved. Yeah, it was definitely worth it, but also, I wonder where Jim and the others are. Well, at this point, I don't know where they are, as well as what they were supposed to do, but I'm pretty sure that they are doing a good job at what they are doing. Well, from what I know, they are currently chasing the Marquez kids, as well as the alternative version of the Marquez kids with baseball bats, in order to show them a lesson on why that other version of the Marquez family made a huge mistake deciding to visit our world, and hopefully, they succeed at their part. Well. We don't need to predict anything on that. I see them coming now. Hey Gina, Gab, Kevin, Arthur, DW, and Bailey. So, how did everything go with the Marquez kids? Also, what's with the sad face? Well, our faces can sum up how everything went. It went terribly. Yeah, and to make things simple, we tried chasing them and catching them, but they somehow managed to get away. And when we got some of them, they managed to fight us off. Yeah, and after chasing them for several minutes, we just gave up and left them to flee from the park, like the bitches they always are. Oh, so it was us you are still looking for? Oh, what's wrong? Surprised to think that we are still here. What the fuck? You six are still here. But we thought you guys retreated out of the park a few minutes ago, as we were chasing you six. Well done, we did you dumbass, but when we saw all of you regroup, we decided to come back to take you all by surprise, but just to say, we didn't come alone. Wait, what? What do you mean not alone? What the fuck are you six even talking about? Well, did you really think that our kids would celebrate Thanksgiving alone? Of course not you fucking idiots, they were talking about this. Oh fucking come on, just why? Well, it's only going to get worse for you 13. Just turn around, and you will find out. You have to be fucking kidding me, how did all of you know we were here? Is that even a question Corys? How did you think that we knew about what you did? Obviously from a phone call from Mrs. Marquez you dumb ass. And as for you 6 Gina? Kevin, Gab, Arthur, DW, and Bailey, we found out what you six did from Dora, she told us everything, and we aren't even surprised at what we heard, especially since you three in particular, Gina, Gab, and Kevin can't leave Dora alone for once. But enough said, Arthur and DW, you two will be in so much trouble when we get home. The same applies to you as well Gab. And the same thing applies to you as well Gina. The same goes for you as well Kevin. The same also goes for you four as well Henry, Rod, Eric, and Bailey. And you as well Diesel. And you as well Chorus, Gorus, and Taurus, 
since you three were obviously the main instigators behind this. Now, all 13 of you, get your asses over here. You 13 are in huge trouble. Well, you heard what all of your parents and siblings said, so, get moving, and get your asses up and out of here, to receive your obvious groundings. And another thing as well, you 13 better not come near any of our family in our dimension, or we will have to show you what we do to shitheads like the 13 of you. You heard what Splatfest and Chump Chump Fan 2023's version of me said, now scram, you fucking degenerates. Arthur and DW, are you too serious now? You two seriously had to ruin Thanksgiving for the Marquez family for the second year in a row, but this time, you tried to chase and assault the Marquez kids, as well as Splatfest and Chum Chum Fan 2023's version of the Marquez kids, like come on, just why? That is so it, for all of the things you did today, you two will be grounded for three weeks, since you two also left the house without our permission. Now, both of you, get your asses upstairs, and into your room, right now. What? <laughs> Kevin, you can't be serious right now. You seriously had to attempt to ruin Thanksgiving for the Marquez family by trying to assault the Marquez kids, as well as trying to assault Splatfest and Chum Chum Fan 2023's version of the Marquez kids. Like, come on, why can't you just leave Dora and her siblings alone for once? And for what you did, you will be grounded for three weeks. Now, get your ass upstairs and into your room right now. No. Gab, are you actually serious right now? We can't believe that you would attempt to violently assault the Marquez kids, including Dora again as well as Splodfest and Shum Shum Fan 2023's version of the Marquez Kids, and attempt to ruin their Thanksgiving for this year. Like come on, just, fucking, why? And due to what you did, you will be grounded for three weeks. Now, get your ass upstairs, and into your room, right now, and think about what you did. What? <laughs> Diesel, what the fuck? How could you ruin the Marquez family's Thanksgiving for the second year in a row by destroying all of the tables with the use of bats? Along with Henry, Rod, Eric, Chorus, Goris, and Taurus, as well as that, you also ruined Splatfest and Chum Chum Fan 2023's version of the Marquez family's Thanksgiving. Like come on Diesel, why? You know what? I'm fucking done with you for today Diesel. You're now grounded for three weeks. Now, get your fat ass upstairs, and into the spare room, now. What? Oh for fuck's sake, Henry, Rod, Eric, and Bailey, why would you four ruin Thanksgiving for the Marquez family, as well as Splatfest and Chum Chum Fan 2023's version of the Marquez family? By smashing all of the tables at the park as well as attempting to assault both Dimensions versions of the Marquez family's kids. Like come on, just, why? That's so fucking at you four. All four of you are grounded for three weeks. Now, get the fuck upstairs, and into your rooms, right, fucking, now. What? <laughs> No. Gina, you have to be fucking kidding me right now. I just can't believe that you would ruin Thanksgiving for the Marquez family for the second year in a row. As well as that, I can't believe that you would attempt to assault the Marquez kids, as well as Splatfest and Chum Chum Fan 2023's version of the Marquez kids with the use of bats, along with Gab, Kevin, Arthur, DW, and Bailey. Like, for fuck's sake Gina, 
Why can't you just leave Dora alone for once? That's so, Gina, for your actions, and breaking your promise of not causing trouble while out getting fresh air, you will be grounded for three weeks. Now, get upstairs, and into your room, right, fucking, now. Why? Why? Chorus, Gorus, and Taurus, are you three actually kidding us right now? We can't believe that you three would ruin the Marquez family's Thanksgiving for the second year in a row. By destroying the tables at the park with the use of bats, along with Diesel, Henry, Rod, and Eric. Like come on, just why, just, fucking, why? That's so fucking it, due to you doing this for the second year in a row, as well as planning this bullshit, you three will be grounded for one month. Now, get the fuck upstairs, and into your rooms, right, fucking, now. Well, I guess this Thanksgiving dinner didn't go as planned. Also, Splatfist and Jump Jump fan 2023's Marquez family, we are so sorry that all of this chaos had to happen. Hey, you don't need to be sorry at all, Lofty's Marquez family. Besides, none of you knew that this was going to happen. But hey, at the end of the day, besides what those assholes did, we all still had a great time. Especially since we got to spend some quality time with each other as two families. Hey, you're right, Dora. Besides, it doesn't matter what we had to deal with today. At least we got to spend time with all of you after four months. Yeah, Amanda is right. And besides, the dinner we had today was just amazing. And those troublemakers will be getting grounded by their parents and siblings when they get home. Yeah, you're right, girls. And besides, spending time with all of you out here was just brilliant. And what those troublemakers did can be forgotten about. You know what? Your rights Flatfest and Chum Chum Fan 2023's version of our family. Besides, the day doesn't have to end for us just yet. Yeah! You're right Dora. Besides, we are all going back home to watch some football, like what other families do on this day. So, what do you all say? Are you all up for coming back to our place with us, to watch the football? What do you six say? You know what, that does sound like a great idea, loved is Elena. So, what do the rest of you say? Well, Elena and I are definitely up for that, if you three Dora, Amanda, and Thor, are up for it as well. Yeah Dad, we are all up for it, especially if it means spending more time with Dora, Isabella, and Guillermo. Okay then, if you all are up for it, then, let's go. Oh, hey guys, we didn't see you guys there, but anyways, we really hope you all enjoyed this Thanksgiving special, especially since this was a highly anticipated video for several months, in regards to one user. And before we sign off, we would like to give a massive shout out to Splatfest and Chum Chum Fan 2023, since he was the one who requested this video, and yes, he did request this video back in the summer, but due to a massive delay in video uploads, the request was postponed until today. And Splatfest, if you are watching this, I really hope you enjoyed this video, especially since you gave me permission to use your version of the Marquez family. So yeah, massive shout out and credit to you for all of this. Anyways, we really hope you all enjoyed, and stay tuned for the 2023 Christmas Behavior Card Day coming this December. And until then, this is me, Lofty Animations 2000. And this is me, Sienna, signing off, and Happy Thanksgiving 2023 to you all.